can't go wrong if you're streaming or watching on Mixer. That guy gets it. Yeah! Yes! She does too. Yeah! Wanna do this? Wanna stream that? Wanna cheer for this guy? Oh. Well, he does this. So. Yeah, you can do that. Stream, watch, and connect with a growing community of streamers streaming your favorite games. Only on Mixer. Hi, I'm Bree Code, founder of True Love and co-creator of Hashtag Self Care. And I'm Eve Thomas, co-creator of Hashtag Self Care. Welcome to the 2019 Global Game Jam. What are you thinking about now as you start this adventure? Winning and losing? Levels and bosses? Points and conflict? We like to start brainstorming by looking around at all the little moments we really like and that we don't often find in games yet. What if you started this game jam by thinking of all the things that make you feel good? What if, instead of making a game that goes from easy to hard, it went from bad feelings to good feelings? Really good. Feelings like coincidences. Or deja vu. Or deja vu. Staring into someone else's eyes. Getting a compliment and really believing it. Finding something that you thought you'd lost. Hearing the ocean in a seashell. Picking up your phone just as your best friend calls you. Sending an important email you've been putting off all week. Trying out a new recipe and having it come out perfectly. Finishing a big project just before it's due. Listening to an album all the way through, uninterrupted. Letting yourself binge watch a TV show when you should be working. Rereading your favorite book and finding a note tucked inside. Helping a friend with home renovations that seem really complicated, but are actually super easy. 
sending yourself a bouquet of flowers and pretending they're from a secret admirer. Enjoying those flowers for a week and then carefully drying them so you can use them for a spell later as needed. So why not try it for a minute? Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and think about what makes you happiest. Then let it inspire you. Good, Good luck. luck. Hi, Global Game Jam. As you can see, I've been working really, really hard on the festival. Uh, I'm busy working hard on it right now as we speak. But I thought I'd take two minutes out to talk to you guys about something that's very close to my heart, which is trying something new in gaming. Woohoo! Uh, in my obvious exhaustion and hard work, I've been thinking a lot about the way in which we make games at Game Jam. And I think one of the most important things that you can do is to work with new, interesting, and different people. That's definitely one of the most important parts of a game jam, especially if you want to try and push yourself, if you want to try and do something new and something different before. Now, I understand that, as you can see, I'm here with my many, many friends who all love me because I'm, I'm totally not an antisocial person but I do have some skills as to how to make new friends at a global game jam. And the most important thing you can do is to just be nice and ask. If that seems a little overwhelming, maybe write a sign for yourself that says, hi, I would like to work with someone new and put that nearby you so that other people can come and see if maybe they have an idea you can be excited about. One of the biggest things about game jams is allowing new people who maybe are hobbyists, who are new to the industry, the opportunity to hone their skills and to keep trying and making amazing games that everyone would like that can interest people from different backgrounds, whether that's different countries, whether that's different genders, societies, whatever, and making interesting games that can speak to everyone. And so it is super important for that exciting, new, difficult, but amazing idea to move to work with new people. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you, Global Game Jam. I'm so sorry this video is like a thousand years late. I love you. Hi, my name is Rami Ismail. I'm one half of Dutch independent city of Lambier, and it is an honor to be here keynoting the Global Game Jam. I want to talk to you about how I'm terrible at drawing. And to prove that, I'm going to draw a cow. And I have to admit that by heart, I don't even remember whether cows have necks. Uh, also, I have to admit that I'm drawing this upside down because the camera is set up weird. Uh, the point is not that I'm trying to draw a good cow. The point is that I'm drawing, trying to draw a cow despite being terrible at it. The Global Game Jam is an event in which you are free to experiment. It's going to be two days, it's going to be a lot of fun, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of creative people, and a lot of the people around you are also here being quite nervous about how good they are at things. And I'm here to tell you that if you are terrible at drawing a cow, you can still draw a cow. Uh, in fact, I forgot the spots on the cow, I should add some spots. Um, but. I think more importantly is that I'm actually having quite some fun drawing this cow. Uh, I think that I think the head should be lower. Anyway, point is that it's okay to fail. It's okay to just make something just because you want to try it. And there is no real way to get it wrong because in the end, creativity is about your choices. If I had this piece of paper and I was going to draw a line, we could argue about where the best line was going to be. But if I decide to draw a line here then now actually it's kind of fun to argue about what this line could be or to think about what this line could be. Is this line a horizon? Maybe it's a horizon or maybe it's a HUD, right? The bottom part of the screen is a HUD. Or what if I draw a second line? Like if I draw a line here, then does that turn into a road? Or maybe it's a beach, right? The sand is near us and the water after us. The point is that What's far more important than making the right choices or making the best choices in an experimental event like this in a place where you just get to try is just try some choices, do some things that you've 
wanted to try or wanted to play with. Find yourself a team of people that is fun to work with or work alone if you prefer that, honestly, whatever is best for you. And then make some choices, try some things. And remember that really in an event like this, there is no real way to do things wrong. You are going to make a game. You're going to try that with the tools you know or the or tools you don't know. You're going to experiment or do something safe. You're going to uh, work alone or you're going to work with friends. This is an event about just having a good time. So try and have a good time. And if you can, if you want to, try and learn. The only way to get the Global Game Jam wrong is to not be nice. So during this event, be nice, be helpful, try and help others, try to take care of others, try to take care of yourself, make sure that you rest, make sure that you sleep, make sure that you eat, make sure that you spend some time checking out everybody else's games. And don't just focus on just the game, because you can make games anywhere at any time, but you can't make games surrounded by so many other people that are making games as well all the time. So make sure you hang out, make sure you talk to people, make sure you have fun, because in the end, that's what the Global Game Jam is about. This is not a contest about being the best game developer in the world. This is a place for us as game developers to make some games with like-minded people. So go have fun. Introducing GameDev.World, a free, live-streamed online conference for game developers everywhere. Tune in June 21st to 23rd for two full days of talks, featuring Q&A, closed captioning, and live translation into the major languages of the world. Sign up for updates and details at www.GameDev.World, and join us for the first truly global games conference. Casa es la gente que me importa, los sabores que nos gusta repetir, los chistes que nos causan gracia, las canciones que no sabemos todos. En Sudamérica estamos parados arriba de un tesoro oculto a simple vista, que es cómo hacemos juegos para nuestra propia gente. Soy Jaé, la mamá barca me está todo un poco cambiando de mundo. Uh, el pito, uh, el pito, 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 Ayma 那是因為在當時他們真的讓我想起了我的家人,然後也有帶很非常熟悉的感覺,也不覺得害怕的跟他們說你好嗎,因為感覺上他們就是自己人嘛。
mazungumzo matulivu na mahali ninapoweza kulala salama para mí un hogar no es un edificio o un lugar en particular sino que es algo que se construye que puede ser solo puede ser con otros pero es un lugar en que uno se siente tranquilo se siente querido de contenido y cuidado que justamente se construye pero que la vez forma parte de uno es como ese lugar al cual uno quiere volver cuando está lejos o, o que tiene ganas de despertarse cuando está cansado así que eso es para mí no Muña Raikitu Mierkasha Kullevashkuota Echan olmui, echan sohki ja almoi. Mun rektula aalotäppä säämis. Leitten tal ieskos tere. Mä ahebbo en jäkuna menzili ala huo masahaten dafia haisu oglukua inai bisalam. Para sahen, ang tahanan ei ang sarili mun mundo. Casa è quel luogo liminale fra il dentro e il fuori. Pour moi, ma maison n'est pas un lieu physique, c'est l'endroit où vivent mes proches. Donc, c'est l'endroit où vit l'amour. Home, na lingua portuguesa, significa casa. E para mim essa palavra está diretamente ligada à tela inicial dos videogames, dos websites ou dos aplicativos. Home is where your heart feels the happiest. 